You've been asking it, here it is, Gen 3 of the offset bar with the quick disconnect. Let's see how it fits. Hello and welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm FJJ here with PodiumArcher.com showing you my newest little creation, the Offset Bar Gen 3. Why is it Gen 3? Well, it's the third one I've made. First one was a little squared off and small through here. Right here, you see. Second one, we made this little revision and made it wider so it fit on any bow where we were running into bows that it didn't quite fit on. And the third gen is the little quick disconnect stud. This isn't gonna be a super long video because this is a very simple part. What this does, is mounts on where your stabilizer would normally mount and moves your stabilizer over about an inch to an inch and a quarter somewhere in that vicinity so it gives you the feel of a level bow without using a v-bar I've, I've been making these for like 10 years i never really made a big deal out of it until like the last couple years ago but in instances where you don't want to carry multiple bars you're trying to keep the weight down on your bow this is a really easy way to get your bow relatively balanced without a crap ton of weight so we're going to bolt this on uh, the lift right over here and make sure it fits. And I'll check a couple other bows, but I know it fits them. Uh, the only one that might be a little catchy is the SS34, but we'll compare it. So right on over here. <clears throat> so these will come with the cord and everything inserted. This is a, just an Allen wrench tightener through aluminum. You can put any kind of sling you want in there. We just use a basic piece of camo cord for a hunter. Uh, and that's how you adjust your length of it. It's relatively simple. Jeez, Joe, buried that sucker. Whoa, man, like you mean it, like you mean it, holy crap. <laughs> okay, so you pull that sucker out. That sits through there. I probably shouldn't have mounted it on the grip, but that is part of what makes this vise so versatile. So you can kind of clamp on anywhere that's relatively square and flat. And rotate it however you want. And you can even adjust the tension of that. It's really cool. So anyway, this goes on right here. Right through here. Tighten her down. And mount our mounting screw. I had it. There it is. Just mount that like here where you'd normally put your stabilizer. Then put the little quick disconnect stud on your thread, or your stabilizer, drop her in the hole, cinch her up, and voila, she's on there. And then to get your stabilizer off, you just back it off a half a turn, pull it out, leave that on, you're good to go. So because of longer stabilizers, it's probably smart to consider this, and that's why I decided to add it into it, just a quick disconnect in general. It makes it a lot easier to get your bow in and out of a case and get these long things off your bow so they're a little easier to carry. Uh, let's see how this lines up on a couple other bows. Uh, and the widest thing up here is this old SS34, and I went to take the uh, quick disconnect off here, and it took the stud out, but if I line this up square, I'll know it'll fit. This is one of the only bows that I was a little concerned about whether or not this would fit well on, and so we'll take a look real quick here and just try to line it up. So it will line up with the hole, but it's gonna be at a slight angle. I won't hurt anything, but just FYI on an SS34, if you tried to make it square and flat, it doesn't look like it would quite line up. It's like that's about the middle. So it's probably gonna sit about that. It's just a little bit out of perfectly square. Won't hurt anything, but just FYI, this particular bow is a little wide. Comment down below on what you think of this product and other products that we've offered or made in the past. Um, like I said, it's just something that was an idea of mine a long time ago to try to resolve the balance points of a bow. And now that these bows are so much lo lower profile and the quivers are so much lower profile, it doesn't need to be as wide as one of the original ones I made. The original one I made was almost that wide, like it moved your stabilizer over like two plus inches, because that's how much it took to take an average weight stabilizer to get the bow to sit level. And at the end of the day, when you're hunting, running and gunning in the mountains, if your bow sits level naturally, it's a lot easier to get your bubble to sit square 
on uneven terrain and unflat surfaces, which is most of where we hunt. So whether you use a product like this or a stabilizer and an offset bar or V-bar, excuse me, I strongly, strongly encourage getting your bow to a position where it balances naturally on its own for your own benefit, because that will make you shoot better in the long run, especially in a hunting situation, sitting, shooting from an awkward position, etc. Thanks for watching.